Remember, I can only tell you what I know. I'm not going to pass on theories I have heard from other people, I also don't want to give you a build because you may think it's what you want, but do you understand what you got, I will do my best to explain DR and evasion, how they work and how they affect how you PvP, we will also have a look at resistance, this is a new area I'm testing but already learned some interesting things. I may run high resistance for a bit, but this is at the cost of other options, so, what experience do I have? I was once a full evasion shy. Rocking 500 dp and I think it was 1200 plus evasion. This used to be what people called a mean build. I had no AP for damage but I could tank damage. Well, tank isn't correct really. I could dodge damage, this is important to understand, evasion lets you completely avoid a hit and its damage, and this is its power. DR and HP is technically how you tank, but all these terms have been mixed up and used in different ways. High evasion means you do not take the damage from a hit. So you are not tanking damage, you are avoiding it altogether, I was not some boring bongo bot. I was a disruption shy in node wars. Apart from buffing my team, it was my job to do the first push and panic the enemy, then jump back into the back line chasing down anyone trying to attack our back line and range units. And keeping an eye out for any e-buffing zerks. As it was my job to CC them and chase them down, disrupt their plans. I would also play like this in RBF, which meant I could not get kills, but I could set them up for the team. Playing this position in the way I did and the gear I had meant the team I was on would nearly always win, unless a few smart players chased down the DP shy. I didn't just stand there bongoing, I was extremely active, watching for threats and attacking many targets. I was very disruptive. This was my thing. The PvP I excelled at and did very well. I was not a shy you could just ignore. If I wasn't dealt with, I could see see important targets. I knew who was going to do what, when they were likely to do it where the gaps are in a good number of classes, to ignore me was a mistake few players made more than once. Sure it took time and resources to deal with me, but the alternative could let your team be wiped out. Fun RBF Chess You can still be a disruptive DP shy, but you won't be invincible no matter what gear you have, no more me. No more easy life. Well unless you wanna be a DP striker instead. That still works only shy that fell below the brackets when things changed. The game has changed. There is a lot more accuracy in game, I think the top end evasion shy still in RBF understand what I mean. When they are there evading all the damage, then I rock up with my debuffs and bam. The spell is broken, they run or die, I felt I had mastered disruption shy. It felt unfair on the other side, maybe some of you remember them castle ruin days. When I was in the match. Probably not fun if you were on the enemy team. I could not be much fun to have to chase me down or get CC and have to work really hard to damage me. Nah, no fun for others, not what I think should be in RBF. So even without any good AP gear, I start to switch it up. Make myself more killable, and maybe get a few archer kills, that's when I noticed I loved the new challenge more. Even started using a trial shy as it has more AP, I'm now an AP, damage reduction shy. I no longer have my evasion gear so I can't show you how it performs. Only tell you what I've experienced. This doesn't mean you have to be a DR shy to PvP and get kills, but it's not the path I picked. So, how does evasion work? Why was it so powerful on shy, and why you can't build a shy meme at higher end in a more, sure evasion works? against mid-range players, but there is not godlike shy meme at, or near gear caps, these similar players, or even quite a bit lower. 500 dp shy getting blown up 1v1 when they bump into the wrong class or gear, yes you will have some damage reduction at 401 plus dp, 30%, fixed reduction rate. And then your remaining dr will help some. But you will feel it when a hit lands and is not dodged. And if you're going into AP PvP, you give up so much AP for evasion, 
and don't have enough to make you tanky even at 700 gear score. To defeat evasion you need accuracy, you either hit or miss, you don't do a reduced amount of damage, so if you could raise your evasion higher than the available accuracy in game, you would not take damage, this has been addressed, fixed, well, on shy. Like I said, Striker's still allowed to do this but we know Striker is loved and devs have something against Shy. Although I do not play evasion anymore, I believe Shy should have an evasion rate passive. You know? Like it states in her class creation text. Yeah, she is meant to have an evasion rate, says it right in her description. This has been pointed out for over a year, but PA ignores it, out white lie and they care so little, they haven't even changed the text you knew what you were getting when you picked. Well where is out evasion rate, 6% on one skill for 20 seconds? To say that's what they meant is BS. We expect a fixed rate passive, a higher basic evasion rate, so I would say Shai was meant to be just as tanky as Striker but the early on DP memes meant Shai did not get her passives, yet Striker kept his. It's a shit show of poor management and now, well PA can't be asked to go back and address it. I have asked, many times, but I'm sorry, they just don't care. The form of evasion tankiness Shy used to have. It was nothing special, every other class could do the same. Just Shy's took it on more, because they could not do damage in PvP, so went full DP, to be buff, debuff bots, evasion, so. If you picking Shy to be a meme, why? Other classes can do exactly the same. A lot of classes can do it better. Shy has nothing special, makes no sense, don't fall for that trap, the myth of Shy being super tanky. She has more HP but, no special passives, less protection than other classes and poor mobility. Nah, a myth generated by streamers who know nothing of Shy, but wanted to complain when their gear let them down, if you wanna PvP at a competitive level. Well, as competitive as Shy can be. Go DR. Yes, you can do it as evasion, but you will need to be nearly gear cap to do it well. And then you have hit the limits. There is a Shy in NA who runs evasion AP, I think. Weep Toru. On Twitch just go and watch. It's not easy for them. All that gear for so little benefit, with DR, you can start having an impact much earlier on and have more build options open to you, such as my often and mover build I used in all my videos, just look back at the RBF clips. Took a DR trial into RBF, got 4 kills. You can start to have fun at lower gear with DR, notice I haven't told you what gear to get. What items, want combo of items? Well if you know why other chose such things, then you can pick your own. Ones that will fit your style better, not very helpful if I just tell you what works for me and expect you to play as I do. Nah, we are all different. I don't wanna hand you a build, give you the meta. And tell you to get used to it if you want to get the most kills. Nah, shy is dynamic and how you want to play is important. I can tell you what gear does what, I will give you my findings on resistances and crystals. Pass on simple combos and explain why and where to use them if you wish. Explain the add-ons I chose and why, such things are covered in the first video, this video will hopefully help you understand your gear a bit better. I have been asked about gear a lot, and this feels like the right video to do now. Although I don't want to tell you what to do, I will make videos of what I do and what works for me. That will include combos and how I engage with different classes. You may want to do the same, but if you find it doesn't work out, it's not because I'm right and you're wrong. It's because we are different. And the shy class allows that to work, we don't have to all fight in the same way, with the same combos, for the same goals. Be a DP shy if you wanna. Set up kills for others. Be a buff only shy if that's your thing, but look at how you can push your limits in that role. Shy is a support class apparently. So, play her as such if you wish. But she can PvP. Be it for kills or just to be disruptive and help the team. Play it your way. Be what you wanna be, oh, and the gear I run. 
It's not just non-meta, it's considered a very bad choice. But they forget that Shy is different, they said you can't use Offin and Nuva. So I did. And it seems okay, seems fun. And it's all I can afford for now. Think it's called Red Offin, sounds cool, don't it? These videos are meant to be very broad information. They are introductory, later on, I hope to produce more specialized videos. But not what is needed right now, a lot of players want to get into shy PvP from scratch. They have no idea where to start. I wanna talk to them first. Get them on the path, I'm also new to this sort of PvP. Yeah I was a god shy in large scale disruptive PvP. I had no doubt in my skills. I felt free to brag about it and ask people to challenge me, to try and stop me. I got bored of that, I had to sell my evasion gear and build AP. Step out of my comfort zone and learn to PvP 1v1. The idea that I'm some sort of PvP 1v1 legend. Well that is a myth, for now. I have some okay gear and okay PvP skills, some days it all comes together and I make the perfect play. Most of the time? I'm average, I have no natural talent, apart from my ability to process large amounts of visual information very fast. This is why I had it so good in large-scale disruption. This does not benefit me in 1v1. I have to train and practice against each class. I haven't trained against many shy and most shies can whoop my ass if they have good gear. I wanna take you on this journey with me. Show you how I'm progressing and what I'm learning. Sure my goal is to become the best, else why try, and if I can help other shy along the way. Great, especially if they become good opponents I can fight with, oh. And when it comes to 1v1 with me. Yes I wanna, now I'm not worried if you kick my ass. But. I'm not always feeling great. And if I don't think I can give a good fight and learn from it, I see little point, as I'm just wearing myself out physically for no gain, so don't feel brushed off if I don't fight. I'm not dismissing you, I'm just not ready. Also means when I do fight, there is no excuse. I can't blame it on my disabilities, I can't take anything away from your win. So this is best for both of us. Well, not 100% correct all the time. As it takes physical effort for me to gain, using up what stamina I have, if I don't think you deserve a fight with me. If you are obnoxious and rude, a troll or an idiot. I won't bother, no matter how many times you wanna spawn camp kill. It really means nothing to me and you look like a prick to all around you. I used to have an ego when it came to losing fights, then I learned what other classes had, then I remembered, it's a game. Now I don't care, win or lose. It's a game. I can get good or accept I'm outskilled or geared. Changes nothing in the real world, don't get angry over losing a coin flip. That is shy PvP half the time, I tell you this because I want you to enjoy the game too, as a shy, and shrug off the deaths. No one important, or smart cares that a shy lost a PvP fight, and when a shy wins in PvP, people are impressed. You can't lose, I want you to have a healthy mental attitude to your gaming, not always easy but, it makes things a lot more fun, 